Hey guys, I'm going to show you um, some stuff in relationship to sports hernias today, or at least what a lot of people will deem as a sports hernia. We're going to go over just one simple exercise, which tends to work very well with people that have that problem. And so here's the thing down here is that we actually have this area right here, the groin, or I'm going to pan down into me. This area is kind of where people say they have problems with a sports hernia. This can actually have multiple diagnoses in it. I'm not going to cover all of them today. However, this flank pain or this pain into the groin area and even sometimes into the scrotum it is very classic of people with sports hernias. Now, here's, a, here's an interesting thing with sports hernias is a lot of times it'll, it'll hurt with actually turning. And so um, one of the characteristics of sports hernias is that sometimes at rest, they don't, people don't feel it. And all of a sudden they go back into sport, they start to feel it. And so, so a simple movement like turning like this, it might create some groin issues. Now, one thing we can do is actually take this, take the hand and just grab the skin right over the area, okay? It's a real simple thing. Grab the skin like the scruff of a dog and go ahead and turn. Or do the same movement that bothered it in the first place, whether it be this or bringing the knee up to the chest. Try that movement again, either one, will is usually bother some people, and do it with skin in hand. Does that change it? If that changes it, why does that work? Okay, we have to question the reason why does that work? Because if it really truly is a fray of, of, the, air, of the musculature and the fascia in there, then that wouldn't work, right? And so there's nerves that pass through here. And so these nerves actually start from around this area of the lumbar spine and they collect into other nerves mixed nerves and they pass right into this area and right into the groin the hip is right here okay some of them even drop down into the scrotum area and so this is a confusing thing for a lot of people because when they do a, a sports hernia regimen like hip mobilization uh, and things of that nature then they don't always address these and so sometimes when you address these the symptoms will dissipate by 50 percent or more within about two weeks okay when this is addressed it de-swells the nerve and decreases the symptoms in this area. The reason why I bring this up is because the skin pull only works if the nerves are in play. Okay, if the nerves are in play, you have the responsibility to get rid of them at first. So an easy remedy again, I'll just show you this one. Go ahead and we're gonna grab the groin and just turn and just turn, do 10 of them again. And then maybe do some hula hoops and then test it again. Voila, okay, it seems really dumb, okay? But I'm telling you, this kind of stuff tends to work and when it does work, you're not looking at a sports hernia, you're looking at something else. We do have a whole article on this on the website, p2sportscare.com. Um, massive article on sports hernias and, and a lot of these topics surrounding it. So please go visit that and see, uh, hopefully get better.